Hello everyone. Today we are here to talk about readiness for an interview. So when we talk about interview, there are multiple aspects which we need to be mindful about. The first which we will be talking about is your resume. When you talk about your resume, that's like your uh, first impression to the company and you want to make sure that the impression is a lasting one and a good one. When we talk about resume, the another thing which a lot of people tend to be do not spend more time here. And you need to remember that this is your selling brochure. The more effective you write your resume, it does your part selling for you. And your chances of getting picked up from a, a lot of CVs is very high. So coming to the resume, the first aspect which we obviously want to look at is the format. You need to have a very good format for a resume. So when we look at formatting, you have multiple sites online which will provide you with an existing format which you just have to pick up. So take that effort, go online, check for a very good format if you don't have already have one and build your CV on that. So once you have your format ready, the next aspect which you need to make sure is your CV is supposed to be clean. And what do, you, what do I mean by the word clean here? Firstly, there should be no spelling mistakes. There should be no grammatical mistakes. The formatting, the paragraph, uh, the headers, the, the body, they should all be in a similar font. So the heading should be in a similar font. The body should be in a similar font. When you look at a resume, it should look neat and clean. The spacing has to be very good because a lot of people tend to, especially freshers, tend to give a lot of spacing just for the resume to look uh, two pages or one pager, which does not help the case. So please make sure that your resume, when you look at a resume, it is clean and neat and has a very good format. So once you have this format ready, once you have your uh, resume checked for grammatical and uh, spelling mistakes, the next, next aspect which you need to make sure is the size of the resume. When we talk about size, make sure that your resume is short. It should not be a two-pager or three-pager, especially depending on your years of experience. So if you have less experience, a year, zero to five, try to uh, put your CV across in one pager, 1.5 maximum. A two-pager or three-pager should only be if your experience is across like a 10-year experience or something like that. So uh, less is more is what is a very well-known saying and that can be used here. So one aspect how you can make your resume short is by making it concise, making it to the point. And the last aspect is quantifiable. Quantify whatever you're writing. So rather than having multiple points, merge them together. For example, worked on a process improvement, uh, done this process improvement. Rather than that, just say, worked on a process improvement which saved cost so-and-so, which reduced error by so-and-so. So you have, you're uh, defining the aspect which you worked on and what was the end savings. If the interviewer wants to probe more, he can definitely ask more questions. So with these aspects, it will make sure that your profile is, whoever views your profile definitely has a positive uh, response towards it. One last aspect which you need to make, be mindful is the points. Your highlights or your key points on a resume should be in a particular sequential order. A lot of people tend to be, uh, so if you're working on XYZ process, if you're done schooling, if you're done your MBA, make sure that there is a story which has been told. So if you have zero years of experience, what will come on top will be your educational qualification. If you have one year of experience after your um, educational qualification, that one year experience comes on top, then comes your educational uh, qualification. If you have taken a break from uh, your, if you've taken a sabbatical from your corporate life and you're doing your education and now you're going back to the uh, job market, your Previous experience uh, will not be first. Your qualification will be first, then your experience. So whatever you have done latest comes on top and then the then it follows. Even with your education, what is the latest education comes on top, so on and so forth. It's a normal format if that tends to tell you a very good story and the latest on top and so on and so forth uh, below. So the interviewer is able to see a very good flow of the story and he's able to connect with you faster. At the same time, you're also able to judge the questions which an interviewer is going to ask. So uh, what is written on top is something which he'll catch first. So that way you're able to navigate through your answers better and be ready for those. 
if you're more on an educational side and you have less experience, make sure your CV is short. Just highlighting your education qualification, your hobbies, and any key achievements which you have done. The next aspect which you need to be mindful, which might change the point slightly, is the JD. So if the job description looks for something which has, is looking for somebody who has worked on projects and you have projects on your resume, you'll make sure that the project is the first point which you will get highlighted. If the JD is looking for somebody with an audit experience, if JD is looking for somebody with a people management experience, you'll make sure that that is the first point. And the next point obviously is connected, but still uh, the first two points will highlight on what the JD wants. Please make sure to keep these points factual because if you write something on your resume which is not true, the interviewer is going to question you and find it out. So based on the JD, try to make sure that your resume tells the story of what the, what the company is looking for and you're able to place yourself in the books of the interviewer as a good candidate. So those were the points which you need to be mindful when you're making a resume.